Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a gothic horror film, Crimson Peak. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with intensity as we see the snowy background and a blonde girl named Edith with a scar on her face and fear in her crocodile eyes. She goes on to tell us that ghosts are real and we are taken to a flashback where she attends her mom's funeral. Later, Edith is in bed, but then she sees her mom's ghost appear in front of her to flex her motherhood love. Edith panics and tries to hide from the ghost, but she still approaches her and warns her about Crimson Peak. 14 years later, we're at Buffalo, New York, where everyone is going about their daily business. Edith is an upcoming writer, and she enters a building where she meets her friend, Alan, who is also her dad's physician. They exchange pleasantries, rather than hormones. But then, Edith sees a bunch of sassy ladies talking about Alan, whom they all seem to desire. The sassy ladies try to act smart with Edith, but she acts classy and walks away. Now, Edith meets her publisher and talks to him about her new book, but is told to work on a love story. Edith complains about this to her dad, but he simply tells her that everyone likes love stories. Regardless, she convinces her dad to let her start typing in his office. During her first day, Edith runs into a British man named Loki, who is there to see her dad for a business meeting. Loki takes a look at the ghost story that Edith has written and is fascinated by it. He begins flirting with her, but is immediately interrupted by her dad, who takes him to the meeting room. Loki puts on a spectacular show as he presents a clay mining machine, which is supposed to revolutionize the industry. However, the dad can smell his bullshit from a mile away and calls him out for presenting a toy without even testing it. He ridicules Loki's culture and goes on to explain that he has done honest work to get to his current level of success. However, Loki counters him by saying he deserves a chance to prove himself. Later at night, the dad gets ready for a party and Edith helps him fit his suit to his fat body. He clearly doesn't seem to like Loki, but Edith defends his passion and sense of fashion. Now, Alan shows up to accompany Edith's dad to the party, and Edith tries to write after they leave, but she gets disturbed by someone at her door. At first, Edith doesn't realize who's there, but eventually sees the doorknob acting aggressively. The door opens with no one outside, but the knob is still moving, so Edith panics. Upon further inspection, she notices her mom's ghost, who charges at her in a creepy fashion. Edith shuts the door, but the ghost passes through it and warns her about Crimson Peak one more time. Edith falls to the floor, and the maid shows up right after. She tells Edith that Loki has come to see her, but she isn't keen on meeting him. Regardless, Edith goes downstairs and asks Loki why he's here. It doesn't take long for Loki to begin his flirting once again, and he takes Edith to the party where a lady in red, named Lucille, is playing the piano. We learn that Lucille is Loki's sister, and after an awkward introduction, it's time for Loki to teach the party patrons how to do the waltz, European style. Loki begins with a brief description of the dance, and then he takes Edith's hand as his dance partner. She's reluctant at first, but eventually performs the waltz with Loki, while Lucille plays the piano. Everyone applauds their performance, but Edith's dad looks on with rage in his eyes. The next day, the dad hires a detective to do a background check on Loki. Meanwhile, Alan shows Edith a machine that can identify hidden images in photographs. He goes on to give an explanation about the machine and the hidden elements, but Edith isn't too interested in his fancy words. Later, she spends some time with Lucille and Loki in the park. Edith spots a dead butterfly and has a chat with Lucille, who goes on to explain how nature is brutal, as can be seen by the ants devouring the dead butterfly. Now Loki takes Lucille to the side and talks to her about something shady, later revealed to be a twisted plan. He then takes Lucille's ring, which is going to be their last resort for an undisclosed strategy. The detective meets the dad during another party and gives him an envelope, stating that it's bad news. However, he asks the dad not to open it in public. Edith comes to bring her dad back to the party and is followed by Loki and Lucille. But he sends Edith away and decides to have a chat with Loki and Lucille in private. He shows Loki the contents of the letter the detective gave him and it makes Loki anxious. He explains that he hasn't told Edith about this dirty secret yet, but will do so if Loki and Lucille don't agree to his terms. The terms are that Lucille and Loki need to leave America the next morning, and Loki will also have to break Edith's heart. With no other choice, Loki makes an announcement, stating that he and Lucille are leaving the next morning. This makes Edith upset, so she walks away. But Loki chases after her smell. Unfortunately, he has to honor his deal with her dad, so he taunts Edith by saying she'll never know what love is, because she's a spoiled brat. 
Edith gives him a slap and goes away, while Loki stands and stares at the crowd, all of whom have witnessed his humiliation. Later, we see Edith's dad enjoying himself with a shave while he orders his butlers to arrange for a meal. He is suddenly alerted by some strange noises, so he goes to check them out, but doesn't find anything. He goes back to the sink, but is suddenly assaulted by a mystery killer, who brutally attacks him and smashes his face into the sink, killing him in the process. Now, Edith gets a letter from Loki, which reveals her dad's arrangement with him. She rushes to Loki's hotel and finds her lover boy, who manages to charm her with his smart words. This prompts Edith to give in to her hormones and tongue massage Loki. Their session is interrupted when a lawyer shows up telling them about her dad's murder. They are taken to the morgue so that Edith can offer a positive identification of the body. But then, Alan shows up and asks her not to go through something so traumatic. However, the lawyer tells him that Edith needs to give the final word at she's immediate family. A horrific revelation follows as Edith spots her dad's bashed face and cries out of sadness. Alan and the others want to inspect the body, but Edith tells them not to mishandle body as she refuses to accept what has happened. Edith breaks down and Loki takes her into his arms full of muscles, reassuring her that he will be there for her. During the funeral, Alan sees Loki suspicious, but Edith still marries her lover boy and they move to England, where Loki has a mansion above a clay mine. Upon reaching their new home, Edith meets an old man who says that Loki has been married for a while. This confuses her, but she enters the house anyway and takes a look at how massive it is. However, things get tricky when Edith spots some dead bugs and a woman in the mirror. She follows the woman, but misses her when she goes into a lift, only to find a cute dog who gives her a red ball. Loki shows up and Edith begins to question him, even though he states that there's nothing odd about the house. He does reveal that the lower section of the house is unsafe, and then Lucille arrives to give Edith the dirts. Edith tries to show some love to Lucille and asks her if she can get a copy of the house keys. However, Lucille says that there are parts of the house are still unsafe and acts sassy by denying access to the keys. Now, Edith goes for a bath and is shocked to see red water coming out of the tub, almost like blood. However, this appears to be an illusion, so she gets naked and steps into the tub. The cute dog shows up to play with Edith, but then a ghost lady shows up to haunt her. Edith gets dressed, while the ghost lady reveals her ugly face, but she vanishes when Edith looks back at her. Later, Loki gives Edith some tea, but it's very bitter. Nothing seems right as Lucille spies on the couple, planning something sinister. The next day, Edith walks in on Lucille playing the piano and is told about her family's past, where the kids were confined to the attic. Lucille says that her mother used to play the piano, but also hints that she didn't have a peaceful life. Then, she shows Edith a nasty book with hormone yoga positions, but Edith says that Loki hasn't sealed the deal with her, and it makes Lucille happy. Later, Edith finds Loki working inside the house and has a chat with him. The couple decides to wrestle their smelly muscles, but then Lucille shows up to block their hormone flow. She gives some bitter tea to Edith, and then we move to nighttime, when Edith wakes up due to some stomach pains. Loki isn't next to her in bed, so she steps out and looks for him, but ends up opening a secret door, thinking that the dog is behind it. However, it turns out to be the ghost lady, who vanishes for a bit to reveal some wax phonograph cylinders. The ghost lady makes a sudden appearance by crawling out of the floor, so Edith panics and runs away, eventually going to the lower floor, which Loki had warned her about earlier. There, she finds a locked trunk with the name Enola on it. Edith talks to Loki about suspicious deaths at his house, but he ignores her words and gets back to work. However, he gets his hand burned, so Edith takes care of him. Loki calls himself a failure, and then he reveals that the house is called the Crimson Peak because of the red clay from underneath seeping into the winter snow. This reminds Edith of her ghost mom, who warned her to step away from Crimson Peak, and then we see Alan talking to the lawyer about the suspicious death of Edith's dad. He learns that the man's last payment was made to Loki, and then we see Edith in the middle of a bad dream. She wakes up and calls out to the ghost lady, who suddenly drags her sexy body down to the floor with her ghost powers. Edith enters the bathroom and finds the ghost lady inside the tub. She runs away from the ghost lady and bumps into Loki and Lucille. Edith tells them what she saw, but Lucille tells her to shut up her smelly mouth. That's when we learn that the ghost lady is actually Lucille's and Loki's mom. Lucille tells her brother Loki that he needs to take Edith to the post office and make her sign the papers necessary to transfer her dad's wealth to her. Obviously, this will give Loki access to Edith's money, which Lucille wants him to use for the clay mining machine. 
Loki does as she says, but gets stuck with Edith at the post office due to the weather, so he takes a room with her. Meanwhile, Alan meets the detective, who shows him a newspaper clipping about a brutal murder later revealed to be that of Loki's mother. The detective also reveals that Loki is already married, much to Alan's surprise. Now, we see Loki and Edith inside the in-room, and they talk about leaving the mansion, so that they can live a happy life together. This eventually leads the couple to engage in some hormone yoga without any interruptions. They come back home, but Lucille gets upset upon hearing about their smelly business. After a dramatic reaction, Lucille goes back to normal and starts cooking, but leaves her keys unattended, so Edith grabs one of them, which has Enola inscribed on it. She decides to investigate the lower section once again and opens the trunk to find a gramophone with secret documents. Edith also opens up a well filled with red clay and walks away, but we see a skeleton under it, hinting that this might be the ghost lady. Lucille realizes that her key is missing, so she goes to confront Edith about it, assuming that she is the culprit. Edith manages to act as if she's asleep and sneakily reattaches the keys while Lucille goes to fetch some water. Later at night, Edith plays the gramophone with the wax cylinders and hears Loki flirting with multiple women. Things get ominous as she hears a woman struggling and then she starts coughing out blood. Edith rushes out of the house, but faints because the tea she's been drinking is actually poisoned. Edith wakes up to Lucille, who begins to feed her poison porridge after she refuses to drink the tea. Loki shows up to shoo her away, and then he confirms to Edith that the tea isn't safe. He goes to confront Lucille about her obsessive behavior, but she says she must continue to poison Edith to keep up the family tradition. Meanwhile, Alan tries to find a way to the mansion so that he can save Edith from the crazy siblings. At night, Edith finds the ghost lady, who is actually Enola's spirit. She's led to a room where she witnesses a horrible scene. It turns out that Loki and Lucille are hormone siblings, and they like to play stepbrother and stepsister. Now, Lucille pushes Edith off the steps, even though Loki tries to stop her. She wakes up to Alan taking care of her and avoids the tea, so he understands it's been poisoned. Loki and Lucille leave the room, and Alan decides it's time to take Edith away from this twisted mansion. However, they are stopped by the sibling lovers, so Alan reveals that Lucille killed her own mother because of mental issues, and Loki marries wealthy women to continue his machine's funding. Alan is about to take Edith away, but Lucille stabs him and makes Loki finish the job. However, Loki asks Alan where he should stab him to minimize the damage, and does as he's told. He takes Alan downstairs and helps him recover, after which we see Lucille forcing Edith to sign the transfer papers. There, Lucille reveals that she was the one who killed all of Loki's rich wives because she doesn't like to share her brother's twisted love. On top of that, she also had a child with Loki, but it died soon after. This explains the skeletons in the wells and ghost ladies like Enola, who is one of Loki's dead wives. Edith rebukes Lucille for her ways, but she forces her to sign the papers and also reveals that she was the one who killed Edith's dad. Edith quickly stabs Lucille and escapes the scene. She bumps into Loki and threatens him as well, but he tells her to go to Alan and decides to burn the transfer papers. Loki also tells his sister that they should start a new life together, but Lucille learns that Loki has fallen in love with Edith, so she kills her brother with her knife. Lucille chases after Edith in an intense sequence, and the two win exchange blows, rather hormones, but Edith gains the upper hand and goes downstairs to Alan. Unfortunately, Lucille shows up with the blade she used to kill her mom. The two wrestle their muscles for round two, and Lucille gets the upper hand. But then, Loki shows up as a ghost, and it allows Edith to kill Lucille with a spade. The movie ends with the same opening scene, where Edith is bloody and injured in the middle of the snow, and then she carries Alan to safety. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.